Honestly, I didn't think I would get back on here talking about what's happening or happened in Afghanistan. But in light of the service members that were slain, we need to reiterate who's responsible for this. Of course, the Taliban and ISIS are at fault. As far as I'm concerned, they're just cave-dwelling cowards and I wouldn't expect anything different from their behavior. You know what I do expect though? The President of the United States to take responsibility for the disastrous implementation of the troop pullout. I'm sure some of you are going to say, But Biden said he takes full responsibility. Roger that. Let's hear it. Mr. President, there had not been a U.S. service member killed in combat in Afghanistan since February of 2020. You set a deadline, you pulled troops out, you sent troops back in, and now 12 Marines are dead. You said the buck stops with you. Do you bear any responsibility for the way that things have unfolded in the last two weeks? I bear responsibility for fundamentally all that's happened. But, but here's the deal. A former president made a deal with the Taliban that he would get all American forces out of Afghanistan by May 1. In return, the commitment was made, and that was a year before. In return, he was given a commitment that the Taliban would continue to attack others, but would not attack any American forces. Trump. I take full responsibility, but Trump. I am so sick of hearing the Trump excuse. Biden says Trump is to blame because Trump originally made a deal with the Taliban, and if he wouldn't have kept to the deal that Trump had made, he would have had to send thousands of more troops in to Afghanistan. So he had to keep the same plan of pulling the troops out. Now, while there is no evidence to suggest that that's true, alone it holds no water. Joe Biden immediately got to action undoing or reversing Trump policies when he got into office on his first day by way of executive order, directives, or proclamations. Some of which include reversing the Trump regulatory approval process, reversing the passport restrictions from the Muslim majority countries, those seven, reversing the expansion of immigration enforcement, halting the construction of the border wall, allowing non-citizens to be part of the U.S. Census, rejoining the Paris Climate Accord, canceling the Keystone XL pipeline, as well as 100 Trump actions regarding the environment, rescinding Trump's 1776 commission, stopping the withdrawal from the World Health Organization, restoring the collective bargaining agreement, reinstating some COVID-19 travel restrictions, reversing the ban on transgenders joining the military, and rescinding the Mexico City policy, which prohibited the federal government for providing funds to foreign countries that promote or perform abortions. That was just the first eight days in office. It doesn't even include the next 11 that happened over the next couple months. Now, Biden felt it was necessary to reverse all those Trump actions, but this one, the one regarding pulling troops out, had to stay? Who actually believes that? As a matter of fact, Trump's agreement was to have the troops out by May 1st. Biden went so far as to renegotiate for a further date. Now, if Biden would have pulled out by May 1st and this still would have happened, I can see how some of this would have fell on Trump. But Biden altered the condition to a further date and took no steps to ensure American safety. Let's say that I know my house is set to be demoed in three months, and I know that I still have my family and all of my belongings in that house. Any sane person would know that I might need to start preparing to have stuff removed before the demo team gets there to prep for the process. I don't want to keep talking about this, but the blame shifting is frustrating considering he is the one making the orders. Biden was not constrained to Trump's decision. If you get down to it, America, with just a skeleton crew of 2,500 people, were able to keep a foothold on terrorism in the country and give the Afghan army the support that they needed. I spoke about this in my last video, but the Afghan army were trained in a way that required American assistance, especially in regard to air power. When Biden pulled the troops, pulled the contractors, and closed Bagram Air Base, he kneecapped the ANA. And is their fault? Nah, this is Biden's fault. Oh yeah, and while we're speaking of Bagram, I guess it was Trump's fault that Bagram Air Base was closed? Bagram consisted of two large airstrips 
in a space of 30 square miles. You know exactly the space that might be needed to evacuate all the people we were supposed to. I also want to add real quick before I finish this. I watched people complain about every little thing Trump did because it was extremely appalling. Well, feel free to speak up at any time now.